Welcome to the Game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. Back at you with some Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. We're going to cap here. We have the one border Spain and West Africa. We also have an interesting blizzards here that affect Orient a little bit, making it a nice little two-point play that yellow is taking full advantage of right now. And we don't see black. Black did not take uh, Venice, which is I think is good for us. So someone probably is in Spain. Someone is prob. So someone probably is here, and the other person is probably like here. Is my guesses. But it immediately goes to the left. I I'm telling you guys, this is not going to be a Spain game right now. I'm not taking Spain again. Gosh darn it. That's a capital. Now I must take it. Oh gosh, that just happened. Alright, let's see if we can win this roll. Little cheeky, but yes, we got that too. Every extra troop matters. And to make sure that white is as weak as possible, we do want to hit that one there as well. This is not going to be Spain, guys. Spain is more interesting. Guys, we're not taking Spain. Spain is not viable this game. If we've done every win this, this game this year has been through Spain. This is not happening again. Now, Blue's aggressively trying to take over. You're not taking that, bro. Yeah, you should have gone back to capital. Whatevers. Green is getting seven. I don't know what yellow did, by the way. They really should have taken over the Cascade Southeast Europe bonus. Question is, is black... Okay, so green is probably capped uh, on Rome or something. Okay, and black is already making mistakes. They're attacking the wrong way. Is that that's a six? So now I don't even think they can take white the white the capital away. Yep, black black just pissed away their troops. That is good. Very, very nice. Well, we're gonna see if white still has five. I think they do. Yellow is now making a push for Orient. They probably get that on the next move. Or possibly this turn, because they probably do like a save and then go strategy, which has honestly been getting a lot of traction. It's very, very reasonable. But it looks like we are going to be holding this here, so we'll be getting nine troops, which is actually normal. And I'm assuming right now white is going for... Yeah, right now they're attacking a lot. Right now. Yeah, they're definitely attacking a lot. So I think because of the overextension, we can probably take that other capital away. We just make this an eight. Place the rest down here. I think probably white is weak. My guess is white is weak. Yes! And now we have three! Ha ha ha! Three capitals! This is not the all of Spanish period. This is just the all of period. Now the thing is, green should probably be spanking us like crazy right now. Like, they're getting nine. It's hilarious how much I have right now. But I guess now we just take over Spain on the next turn, because what the hell, heck else are we supposed to be doing, people? I don't see where green's attacking from. I'm assuming it's Spain. Oh, this is multiple attacks or somewhere else. Okay, they tried to take over France. That's reasonable. That is reasonable. Okay. And with black just getting three and white also getting three... They're both basically down and out now. Honestly, us winning this 2v1 to win this has actually been critical. With only one troop that we basically used, we're getting an extra basically four troops. This is an incredible return for nothing that we're leaving up here. That extra troop really does make a difference. It's just tough having three capitals to be defending uh, at once. Eventually, like, they're going to want to go down. Now, white is basically dead at this point. I don't see... What else uh, that they can do? Besides be a dumb dumb like that. Now we're getting 12. Let's just make this like a 10. The white basically went all in on this. 
Congratulations, White. You now have no dreams. And I have Spain. Let's go, everybody. The Olive Spanish Inquisition. Once again, we have Spain and three capitals and dreams and glory. Yours. The beauty of all of this. And the next turn, yellow does have Orient. Green does now have 14. We do have to watch that a little bit. Yeah, do they smack a capital from us? I love that. I have I have multiple capitals down here, bro. Yeah, hit that. That's fine. They're going to lose too many troops, and they have willing to smack them. They work with me? It's fine with me. Okay, they do smack. They do smack. Okay, so we go to war against... I guess we have to go to war against green now. But black is getting six. Interesting. Mm. Okay, so we're not going to lose that bonus up top there, but it gave us four troops. Good move by Black. Very respectful of that. We do have to be a little careful here. I think Green's going to be going into us. And now, like, with Yellow... Yellow's still getting seven. So, so, I guess they're going into a war against Blue? Yeah, it looks like Yellow and Blue are fighting. Okay, Yellow and Blue are fighting. Black is slowly taking over Corner. Noob Corner. Ye White's basically has nothing to their name right now. So, my priority now needs to be... We'll make this a 9. Place the rest down here. Yeah, we gotta go into the, the green player and make sure they, they don't get anything else anymore. So, now that green's only getting about 7 or so, they're gonna have some trouble... Dealing with all of this. I'm guessing right now blue and yellow are at it, but yellow is slowly winning the fight. We got a lot, a lot of territory right now. That's going to be putting us into a good position. Eventually, black can die. Because now you can see that green's just getting seven, right? Because they went into us. Like green can attack a lot, man. But I'm going to basically just keep pummeling them like really, really hard. I get what they're doing. Like, this is right to be attacking. Like, they, they, they want their bonus. They want the one-point hold, so they want to challenge and attack me. This is a good move, and I respect this move. Especially as this board is dynamic right now. So basically, we just got a full pummel, full pummel against them. Full pedal to the metal. We keep going, and we do not stop for a moment. The black now is getting nine. So now they have a 13 down. So we do have to watch ourselves and potentially losing uh, a capital for ourselves. Possibly clearing out black could be an option for us. So I think when we trade-ins happen, we'll have to fortify up our capital a little bit here in Malia. To make sure we don't lose that. I also wonder, does white have anything else left on the board? Because I have like a little couple of spots here. Like I don't think it's worth it because like the trade-ins are so low. Like I... I don't think I should be doing uh, anything like uh, right now. Now we're getting 14. I just make this like a uh, a 10 to match. I could take yellow's capital, but I don't think I want to be getting to another war. So I'm just gonna go back like like this. I know I'm not holding all of this. I'm going to be getting attacked from a lot of different areas. But basically, we got to put more pressure down. Like, and now, because like basically blue is going in on yellow. We expected that from before. I looked at yellow from before. They're getting seven. So it looks like they're like like blue and yellow. They're going full ham pedal to the metal right now. I don't expect white to be doing anything besides dying soon. Like I expect basically green to basically be fully going uh, just into me here. And they're doing that, but they're not invading my Spain. And that is important. Really, I like the, one of the biggest wild cards is the black player. Like, they are getting 10, all things considered. Like, they are... Like, right now they're saving up. And that's a little dangerous. Like, they're trying to, I think, take all of Noob Corner and hold that. Honestly, like, they don't have a capital, so they are killable.
eventually. Like, uh, this is fine. Yellow's now trading in. They're getting six. So again, like, like them and blue are, like, are both fully going at it right now. Which is why I haven't been hitting them, like, uh, that much. So right now, my target's always just been green uh, this whole time. Wow. Really, yellow? You break. So with all these, like, trade-ins happening, we got, like, a little, little bit further ahead. Like, we're still getting 14 per turn. We're still doing more than fine for ourselves. We can just make, uh, just, like, a 15. So, if white, if, if, so if the green player is getting 7, the better play for us right now is to just kind of, uh, Make sure that we're not dying and losing our capitals. We give other players the opportunity to be messing up. We just make sure we don't lose our positions. We're getting more than enough overall compensation without being like a uh, stupid or crazy. We don't have a set here. However, I think on the next move, we should be able to take out the white player because white has a couple of positions like uh down here like you're not taking that green that's a 21 there green could probably invade our spain though understandable again but i'm gonna i can always invade them back you're not holding that bonus so right now they're just like going back saying they're just trying to stop me and like they get their position down Again, they've been very, very reasonable this game. Now black is getting like 13. Like black is staying alive, just being off in the corner. If black wins this. They are actually like the biggest Giga Chad uh, of all time. Like black's not taking France. Like, this is crazy. What they're actually doing right now, staying alive. And I can't go for them. This is ridiculous that black is just doing all this. Because like right now, like green's just being so like a uh, movement like this. No, I don't think their cap is that weak. I do think we have to try to kill the white player now, though. It is worth it to go for this kill. Yep. Okay, that's all of white. Unless we get god-awful dice, we get the kill. Very good. Very freaking good. They had a trade-in, too. All right. Shit. Black leaving a guard there was so smart. And I have no set on four. Ugh. Darn it. Black was getting too much there. Now, black is trading in. Now, blue's trading in. They're going to keep going into uh, them. So, yeah, so we have to worry about black now. Yeah, that sucked that they had that guard there like that. We have 23 on capital, but they trade in again. Like, they can, like, blast our capital away, and they were stuck behind green, who can also trade in first. This is a very tough spot. Yeah. This is very tough. Like, I do think we had to attack them, though. Like, they're still getting 13. Really a huge, huge shame that I do not have a set here on four. This is incredibly bad. If I were to tr get the set in on four, I could have like almost taken out the black player here, taken out the green player. What I'm worried about is a green trades in, they clear me out of here. Then black trades in, they kill me. This is really bad. There's nothing I can do about this. I have to attack black right now and kind of force a trade and hope I stay alive. We gotta put as much on capital too. We have no set here, man. Bad luck, but these things happen. Let's see what happens. Maybe, hopefully, green and black don't like full double trade. Maybe they both do. Like right now, sets are on 35. 
Okay, green does not trade in. We have a chance to kill green, maybe. I don't know. I think they've been saving a lot right now. They kept them getting like seven per turn. I think they have enough on capital because right now black's just getting three. Black must trade in around where I kill them. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they got 60 down right now. Ugh, yeah, I got a freaking um, Blast Black, unfortunately. Like, they're, they're clearly the best player right now in, in the game. They're, like, just trying just to stay alive, which is kind of crazy. I do have the trade in here. Okay, why does Yellow keep blasting me? Can I kill Yellow? Let's stay focused. The biggest danger is black, right? I don't think I have enough troops right now to kill them. So I basically have to put a little bit down here. We got to keep our capital open. Wait till our next set opportunity and take out black that way. You're a little bit too good, black player. I respect you, man. We have a set on three. So I think we traded in on three here. We kill black. We ensure the kill on black. Because once black is out, then I think we're okay. Because we're open to them right now. They have no trade in. We, we kill them. We then get the next trade in. And then we, we can go. Because right now, sets are on 45 here. Like, this is a pretty freaking cool game right now, guys. No, because black can, like, can't do anything like at all. Black has no capital, so they're going to die, right? If they get a large number of troops, they stay alive, and then the game stalemates. Like, we must take them out here. Like, this is why you need a capital, because eventually it's worth it to kill some you. Well, absolutely, we're going to be killing them here. They're about 70-ish troops. Yeah. I'm still killing Black right now, by the way. Now, by the way, if yellow goes in and attacks France, they're a sniper. I gotta check right here. I could kill um, blue, but honestly, black is a better player. I need to make sure that they die, no matter what. Because once Black's dead, I know I can take out the remaining players. That's a set here for us. So now with our next set possibly coming up here, I think we can possibly go for blue. Because again, right now, like I think blue is weak. Because they've been fighting yellow this whole time. That's right now are on 55. I don't think I don't think green can clear us out of here. Okay, green trades in here. They, they can't clear us out. We have a 41 on capital. They would have to get pretty lucky. Right now they're just saving and putting uh, on capital right now. So cap capital's being like a 60 and us holding down all of this. Like I doubt yellow goes crazy into us. If we hold all of this, we can then take out the blue player. And then we can do a full, like, a uh, backstab Sally into yellow through Georgia. And then almost going to block off on them. And then with green just basically kind of full stacking on capital, uh, we can just make an aggressive play and put ourselves in a good spot to potentially take this. There's a lot of things I want to do, guys. Yeah, like, I, I think this is kind of a... Kind of weird what yellow's doing, but nah, they, could, they could have seen me killing black. I can understand this. In either case, they did open up my capital, so now I'm just going to uh, kill blue. And then uh, we can just kind of go off against yellow and kind of card block and like take them out as well. Try, try to 2v1 our remaining opponents uh, across the board right now.
That's pretty good dice. And that's blue gone. And honestly, yellow's been attacking us this whole game. And honestly, green I don't think is that good. So we're just going to focus now only on hitting yellow as much as possible and break their spirit and or their kneecaps. So yellow's just going to be getting 7. Green just getting 8. These guys got to basically tag team me right now. But basically, it sets around 75. I do have to keep Malia slightly stronger here. But basically, like, I don't think yellow can beat me in this 1v1 right now. Because green's just being, like, very, very passive just staying on capital. I can give green second. Basically, yellow's been the one kind of antagonizing and attacking me. And you know what? Let, let's test them. Like, let's see what there you can do, bro. We know that yellow is capped down here, so I think we can just get a card block on them. Forcibly knock out the set if they have it. We also have a member of a 44 back up here uh, like, uh, as well, because I think they took a while. We have to figure out what to do here. Yeah. So let's see. Can we take out this position? Yes, we can. All right. Yellow's card blocked now. Yellow must have a set or it's over. So green's going to go off an attack, but they did too little too late. They had to do a lot more. They had to do a lot, lot more. Like, these guys, I think, are trying to tag team me, but these guys are both, like, not, like, uh, crazy good. Still, though, I think green attacked in the perfect manner possible. No, no, they had to, uh, attack upwards Estonia, Lafayette, and St. Petersburg. But, like, yeah, yeah, if yellow does not have the set here, it's over. I just kill them. They do got the set, though. Darn it. Okay. Let's do this, man. Good job to the yellow player. Seriously. Good freaking stuff. They're doing what they can to try to survive and uh, make the most out of this game. I, I really respect that. But we're going to get this. Like, these guys are slow attackers. We own a tremendous, like, amount of the board. We're going to be uh, able to stop this. I honestly wouldn't mind yellow smacking my other 19 capital because then I can probably like fully card block and get ready to kill them at that point. I'm also going to probably close like blocking off uh, the other way. Let's get this a double block off right here. I don't think I can get a double block off, actually. I'm just going to focus on... Do I actually have enough to knock yellow out? Hmm, no. That was more expensive than I thought. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay. Let's just go back to capital. Make sure that green can't do anything too crazy in case they have a set on three. Good. Focus on breaking Spain. That's fine. They have a set on three, too. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. I was a card I had on both of them. They both had the set on three. Go to my opponents. They're 2v1ing me right now, doing everything possible to try to stop me. The right play to make. It's annoying. But you play to win this game, and these guys are playing like champions. And we're going to stop them, you guys. We're going to do this. Seriously, kudos to my opponents. This is really tough stuff to be doing. And they're, like, excelling at it right now. 
unfortunately, Green's going to be able to take that Russia capital. They're going to see that. It's going to make things a little bit tougher in the end game, but I can always do some boil the ocean type strategies and like uh, deal with that. We can card block yellow coming up here and like then like uh, be fine. We're going to card block yellow now, and then that's going to hopefully like uh, take this. We should still be uh, getting enough here. Now, what green could do is uncard block the yellow player. That would be a really giga chad play to force yellow to keep getting cards so you guys can get, get trade ins to stop me. That would be incredible if they did that. Oh, man. Like, this is tough, man. This is tough. But I think we can still do this. We just have to really, really concentrate. Okay, come on. Don't attack yellow. Yes, okay. Huge mistake by, like, they had to give yellow cards. As long as yellow is card blocked, we can stop them. Because green is, cannot beat me 1v1. Like, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have or, or, hold Orient, right? I'm holding all these bonuses. Like, I have too much territory on the board. Like, they're just going back. They want to make sure they're holding their position down. Because it's uncard blockable right now. Like, yellow, you're blocked. Killing you first. 6v9 is almost very unlikely to work. Yep. Go off capital now. Now we're going to do is a 0% slider blitz here. And there we go. Yell, you got to do more, bro. Otherwise, I'm going to get a set and I'm going to kill you. No set on four. Unfortunate. It's fine. It happens. We make our own luck. Once yellow's dead, we can kill green. We are going to take this game, ladies and gentlemen. Even if it kills me, we are going to take this game. Yeah, that was already a mistake. Like, green's giving me too many bonuses. They're running out of time. These guys are running out of time to stop me. Like, I'm going to get a set. I mean, like, yellow's going to die. Okay, 6p10. 0%. Okay, what do you do now, yellow? You move more tropes off capital? Yellow, you're, you're going to die, bro. You are going to freaking die. Next turn, I'm killing yellow. And then yellow should be dead. Hope green does not have to set on three. Then we just focus on knocking them out. Well, to stop green, we just do a boil the ocean strategy. Just basically attack every freak, single freaking territory on the board. Basically just dare them to try to do something about it. Like they have a lot of territory right now. Yeah, now yellow's given up. They realize they can't do anything about this. The so yellow's dead. So honestly, the, the, the area I'm most worried about is Kharkiv, because that's very, very hard to block. But I don't think yellow has much left, because they basically spent their whole time attacking me from before. I also So basically, assuming they're, they're going to be getting, like, uh... A little bit more. We're going to trade in now. We can just basically make this a 69 so we don't lose it, right? With sets being like a 95. We could probably make it a little bit more just so we don't lose that. Place the rest down here. Gonna, I want to take out yellow now. Yep, yellow's dead. Now we just finish attacking all over everything. And now we got to enter a period of stability, I think. 
This capital is way more important, so I make sure to over fortify this one. So now green's gonna start like doing a lot of smacky smacky, attacky, attacky. We gotta basically get out and knock out this uh Kharkiv capital. Once we have Kharkiv. Then I think we're fine, right? Because then we can card block. We just got to knock out Kharkiv. Like, I think Green actually has a fair number of troops. A little more than you guys think. Do they hit that? Actually, that's pretty good odds. Okay, they get a good roll there. Unlucky. It happens. Now we're getting 32, plus trade-in, 132, make this 135. Let's knock this capital out, boys. Let's go. Okay, so now we need to hard block green on the top part of the board. Very good. Okay. Green is now blocked. We move this back to capital. And there we go. Green is now blocked off the top part of the board. They can only attack me for the bottom. And I got to get a lot more troops in them to break the balance of the game in my favor and win this 1v1 end game. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We got this. Very nice end game. Like, my opponents are 2v1ing me, and they can't stop me. I play this game a lot, but it's what you gotta do. Now we're getting 74 per turn. So now, all we can do is make this like a 17. 17. Make this like a uh, 20 in case they have a set. Four to zero. I put nothing down there. Oh, well. Move the 17 down like that. Okay, and now green must have a set on three. Or win a 9v15, that's very unlikely. Nope, your card blocked. GG, bro. We just gotta keep holding this down. Green has to move troops off capital. Otherwise, we break the balance. We just keep taking cards and until we kill them. Special is getting a 79 plus a trade-in. Yeah, there's no way they have like uh, that much, right? Exactly. And next turn, we will go... Be, we'll, we have to wait for one more trade-in. There's our trade-in. We take out green. That's game. That was a good game, man. These guys tested me, but we earned our victory here. There we go. That's the full stack. Congrats to the players. These guys were awesome. They played like champions through and through. I won't, I won't style on World Dom because they played like a champion. They freaking earned it. This is Olive XC signing off.